Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Kaylee Yota. And I'm Irene Milanes. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, and we are here with your morning announcement. Improv Night is an interactive improv show put on by the Yes and Squad on Friday, September 27th at 7 to 8.30 p.m. Tickets are $3 pre-sale at the student store and $5 at the door. Come out for an awesome night of theater games, laughter, and fun. If you're interested in joining the debate club, come in for our informational meeting next Wednesday, October 2nd from 3.30 a.m. in HL3. We are looking forward to seeing you there. We are starting the process of selecting students who will be participating in the Osaka Exchange Program for the 2019-2020 school year. If you are or were in a Japanese class and interested in going to participate in the Exchange Program, please contact Ms. Tanaka or visit her classroom in HM5. The due date for applications is October 18th. Now let's check out our In the News report. What's good, Wolfpack? I'm Alex McCarty. And I'm Kevin Cotivo, and we're here to catch you up with what's going on in the news. President Trump repeatedly pushed for Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter during a July 25th phone call. According to the transcript of the conversation released by the White House, the conversation raised concerns that President Trump may have broken the law by asking for foreign help against a potential election rival. Wow, this is a big deal. Federal authorities have arrested a United States soldier who discussed plans to attack a major American news network sharing detailed instructions online about how to build explosives and suggested that Beto O'Rourke, the Democratic presidential candidate, could be a potential target. The authority said, The 24-year-old soldier, Jarrett William Smith, was arrested over the weekend and charged in federal court in Topeka, Kansas, this Monday, facing one count, according to the United States uh, Attorney's Office in Kansas, of distributing information related to explosives and weapons of mass destruction. If convicted, he can face up to 20 years in prison. Man, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. On to local news, a wildfire occurred yesterday in the Sheldon area. We don't know what caused the fire at this moment, but it's important because it was very close to home. Very close. There now is a network of cameras, I heard, uh, in high fire risk areas in the state helping guide efforts. Now the state of the art high definition near infrared cameras are proving to be a critical tool when it comes to pinpointing the, the location of the fire. More than 300 are watching for wildfires from Lake Tahoe to Grass Valley, Calaveras County, and down to Santa Cruz, California. I believe these are going to help a lot in finding out the causes of these fires and, and how we can further prevent them. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. See you next week. Thanks, guys. The annual senior permit pictures will be taken tomorrow during Wolfpack Hour. Please remember to wear your senior shirts or a plain navy blue t-shirt. Please move in the lines, the tapes that spell out 2020. No hats or sunglasses are allowed. Students not following the rules will be removed and not allowed to be in the picture. Go to your Iowa teachers Thursday and they will walk you out to the picture location. The Latino Club meets every Thursday in Ms. Paredes' room from HM1 between 3.20 and 4 o'clock. You're invited to join us and participate in fun and cultural activities. Everybody is welcome. Also, Lead Latino Club will be selling freshly made filled churros and Mexican candy on Friday during the food fair. Churros are filled with strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, or caramel. Each one is six tickets and come to support, lead, and enjoy your delicious churros. Key Club is going to 6-5 Saturday, October 19th. If you want to go, you have to buy your ticket and your membership at the student store by Friday, September 27th. Tickets for Six Flags are $36 and the Key Club membership is $12. Please buy your tickets today. If you have any questions, ask Ms. Chase in HN1 and HN1. Nintendo Club will be meeting Thursdays at 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in Ms. Aguilar's room in HL6. Also, Anime Club is meeting on Friday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. and also Ms. Aguilar's room in HL6. Now before we go, let's check out Hispanic Heritage Fun Fact for the Day. Hi, my name is Liliana Patino, and for today's Spanish character, Sonia Sotomayor. Member of the American Philosophical Society, Sonia Sotomayor was born in the Bronx, New York City, New York, on June 25, 1954. In 1976, she graduated from Princeton University, receiving numerous awards and distinctions. In 2009, she was nominated to the Supreme Court, making her the first Latina Supreme Court Justice. 
Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Marie Milanes. And I'm Kaylee Oto. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.